Hi, this is Bradley P. Allen. I'm just going to show you a very quick demo of how we can take this Raspberry Pi board and the GPIO interface that it has, connect it to uh, a simple circuit, which is the one that was described in uh, the Magpie Issue 2 uh, as a, a simple beginner's interface um, to, um, to use to build to understand how to use the GPIO capability of the Raspberry Pi and show how we can interface that with uh, a server technology called uh, server sent events uh, so that we can run a, uh, a web server on the Raspberry Pi um, using a framework called Flask which is a, a Python micro framework for building web services um, to create events that get pushed to web browsers that are uh, um, you know connected to the Raspberry Pi over the network so uh, very simply how I did this is um, you know, actually, I've got a, a repository up on GitHub, uh, RPI-MyButton-SSE, um, which uh, you know just has a single file that contains the code that does this. So uh, we were importing, uh, in addition to a couple of uh, the standard Python packages, the Flask uh, package to uh, to get the web server uh, micro framework, and the uh, RPI.GPIO uh, uh, package to allow us to interface to uh, um, the uh, the circuit board. So uh, we do the setup as in the uh, demonstration uh, uh, example on the uh, Magpie Issue 2 uh, project. Uh, but we create, in essence, a, a server that allows us to just return some HTML with some embedded uh, JavaScript, which create an event source uh, according to the uh, server sent event standards, um, and then a message that every time it receives data from uh, the Raspberry Pi, it'll simply add a... Uh, bulleted item with the data uh, to a list that we have, uh, you know, essentially the only thing in the body of this HTML page. Um, you know, this is invoking uh, the use of an additional um, uh, URL, uh, which is slash stream, which is uh, returning a, a Flask response, which invokes a Python iterator event stream that has uh, the GPIO request code embedded in it, and every time somebody presses the button, instead of just writing out a print statement that uh, shows the count, here what we are is yielding the data uh, message uh, that's getting passed back through the server. So um, to run this, uh, basically you can see this is an SSH session uh, uh, where I've connected to the Raspberry Pi, um, and uh, you know, really essentially just uh, run the, uh, the server file, server.py, out of the distribution. Um, you know, have to do it um, is uh, under uh, super user because the uh, protections associated with the GPIO uh, interface demand that. And you can see we're running this uh, on port 5000. So if I go back over to my browser here and uh, essentially just uh, uh, create a, uh, a window that accesses that, um, then every time I press uh, the button here on this uh, board, um, you can see the uh, events uh, start to kind of flash along, um, you know, coming up here in the button, you know, just indicating the time of the button press, the number of the button press, and over here we can see the fact that that initial request to the uh, stream URL was received and now that connection is open and the Raspberry Pi is serving up these uh, real-time uh, pushes um, as content on this page. So that's basically it. Um, as I said, the repository on uh, GitHub is uh, available um, and um, you know uh, can be accessed if you guys want to take a look at the code and uh, play with it yourself. Thanks very much.